Hi, Rick here from Man River Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Okay, now before we fly, there's a couple of actually quite important things we need to do first. And the first one is a compass calibration. So uh, if we just tap on the thing at the top here, you'll always have this uh, overall status here. So if you have any like compass errors, etc., this is where they're going to appear. But as a sort of rule of thumb, brand new model, um, I always recommend doing a compass calibration and it's quite simple. Now, I'm gonna to have to do it inside, but we don't do it inside. You must do it outside, away from anything that could cause any kind of interference, but I'll redo this when I do go outside, but I'll just show you in here. So first thing you need to, need to do, click on the calibrate button, and then we click on OK, and then it'll give you a wee graphic. So the first thing you need to do is you need to rotate the craft around on the spot. And you see that going around there on the video. And then when it comes back, to the 360, see it changes nose down. So I'm gonna stick it on its nose and then I'm gonna take it for a 360. And then again, when we come back to the start, it will complete like that. So that's the first one. And I'll be honest with you, that will be pretty much okay. That will be pretty much you to go. Uh, but another one that's worth doing, especially after you've done a firmware update, is it's worth doing an IMU calibration. So we've just gone to the wrong one. So we're going to the main menu here. And we go down to uh, advanced settings. Yep, here we go. Sorry, this menu is slightly different from the Phantom 3. And we go into sensors, and you have basically your IMU data here. Now, again, if there were any problems, these bars would be lighting up slightly differently. So you would have things like red there, where it's giving you the little legend at the bottom there. But it's actually worth, as I say, giving it a calibration. This is good after a firmware update. And you just click on Calibrate IMU, Start Calibration. Now, massively important, the craft is on a flat level surface and uh, you do not move it while that's calibrating. Now, it does can take about sort of 20 minutes to calibrate, so I'm just gonna uh, cut the video here just so that uh, you're not sitting watching a video for 20 minutes. Okay, you can now see that we've got success on both IMUs. Now, one of the features of the new Phantom 4 over the Phantom 3 is a lot of the important sensors like the compass and the IMU, they've actually doubled up, so it's got two to make it more reliable. So you've got obviously one for both. Um, and then that's it. So once that's calibrated, you're now pretty much ready to go. Um, now you'll probably notice there where it's saying cannot take off. This is actually due to there's something in front of the craft. So if there's something very close to the front of it, it will think that, you know, that there's uh, an obstacle there. So it's not gonna allow you to take off. So I hope you found this video helpful in getting yourself going on your new Phantom 4. I'll be doing a range of videos that will go into the more uh, specific features, especially of the app. Um, as time goes on and just remember when you're flying your new Phantom 4 fly safely Remember all the sort of restrictions that I mentioned in the video further about flying in proximity to people and how far and high to fly away from yourself I'm Rick from Marin for Models a DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. Thank you very much